What up, nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome to the Nerdy Narrative, and today's adventures in reading is going to be a book haul. I will be sharing all of the new additions to the collections that I've picked up over the last month or however long it's been since I last updated you, and I'm going to start with possibly the cutest one ever, which was sent to me by my friend Star. Y'all are gonna die when you see this. Look how little it is. It's a little bitty Lilo and Stitch book. And I'm not kidding you. It's an actual storybook. It actually has the story about Stitch. It's got pictures and everything. It is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. There's only 29 of these. Yes, I immediately looked that up and uh, I will be collecting them. Thank you very much. She also sent me this cute little activity book with it that has stickers and all sorts of fun things and I've just I immediately opened it and started doing some of the activities. You better believe these stickers are going to be all over my reading journal for the rest of the year. Since I started with a couple that were sent to me, we'll keep going in that same vein. I was also sent Quiet Thunder by J.P. Harker. The author did send this to me to review because I asked for it. He emailed and said, Hey, I have this new standalone fantasy that I wrote in the same world as the Caledon Saga. Are you interested? I said, yes, please. He sent it. I read it. I loved it. Review will be linked in the description box down below. Next, I was sent two short stories in printed format from Ryan Hyatt. This short story first made its appearance on godless.com. This is one you're gonna read and you're gonna want a full length novel from, which I do believe Ryan said he was working on. I am eagerly awaiting more news for that one. Also, I have here, Punk Ain't Undead. I have not read this one yet. I'm planning to save it for an October short story read. I don't know what it's about, but I have a feeling it's going to be fantastic. So far, everything I've read by this author, I've really enjoyed. So I'm looking forward to reading that short story. Another one that I was sent by the author that I'm planning to read in October is The Dead Kids Club by Rich Hosek. I am really looking forward to reading this one. I'm going to read it sooner rather than later. It's a revenge story and I love revenge story. For those of you who are parents, one of your worst fears is outliving your child. For this couple, not only have they outlived their child, their child was run over and killed by a drunk driver. From what I understand, the couple tries therapy, they try a support group, none of that's working. They decide to take matters into their own hands. In addition to being an author, Rich has also written for a lot of well-known television series you all might be familiar with, such as The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Star Trek Voyager, and The New Addams Family. And he's also the host of a fiction podcast that I'm planning to check out. And if you wanna check it out too, I will have it linked down in the description box below. Those are all the books that people sent me, my book mail. Now we'll get into the books that I myself have picked up with my book budget money. Some of these you will actually have already seen on the channel because I've had them a while. I just completely forgot to show them in a book haul. So I'm going to show them here now. The first one is The Lady of the Mark by Alex Hansen. And this is the first book in their series, The Men of the Mark. I love this book. I read it for SPFBO8. It was my pick for being a semi-finalist to go forward in the competition. And then another one that you've already seen on the channel, I picked up Junji Ito's The Liminal Zone. It is so good. I'm so glad I bought this one. Not only is it beautiful and it belongs on my shelf, it was a fantastic read and is my new favorite short story collection by Gigi Ito. And I'm really excited for the two coming out in October after reading that one. One that I pre-ordered that came out at the beginning of August, but I haven't had a chance to read yet is The Devil Takes You Home by Gambino Iglesias. I have no idea what this one is about, but I think it's supposed to be a thriller. It's blurred by Stephen Graham Jones, so it's probably horror. I saw it advertised on Twitter probably a year ago and I pre-ordered it immediately based on what I saw so hopefully I'll have time to read that one soon. The next one's a book but it's a little bit different book than you're used to seeing on the channel. It's a modern calligraphy and handwriting teaching book called Pretty Simple Lettering. As some of you may have noticed, I've gotten really into fountain pens lately and I always have kept a reading journal and I usually use stamps to design it. And I thought, what if I learn how to write like that and then I can use my pretty pen? So I picked this one up hoping to be able to teach myself how to do that pretty lettering. I don't know. I am left-handed, so things are a little bit different for me. So we'll see how that goes. I have tried it a little bit and it has not gone well so far. <laughs> 
Next here in the pile is Queen for Ashes by Chris Ferracchio. It's a novella that's part of the Sun Eater series, which I need to work on. I had a plan and my plan, if I had been able to stick to it, would have me in Howling Dark right now. And that just has not happened, mostly because I keep scheduling more books than I can read in a month. And I've got to do better on that. I've got to do better. The next one here is the October pick for the Wine and Crime Book Club. It's Sarah Gailey's The Echo Wife and I bought it in hardback because my friend Angela from Literature Science Alliance loves this book raves about this book. The next in the pile is another recommendation from a friend. This one came highly recommended to me by Andreas. Andreas said this was one of the most atmospheric horror they've ever read set in the 70s and I was sold. Plus it has a gorgeous cover to it. It was an immediate addition to the TBR for October so I'm looking forward to reading this one. And then the final one that I have here, no way am I going to be able to pronounce the title of the book or the author correctly so I'm not even going to try because I know I'm going to butcher it. The reason why I know I'm going to butcher it is because I have edited out the 20,000 times that I have tried to say both. It's a well-known popular book so I'm sure you guys are going to recognize it. It's this one right here. It was chosen for me by my patron Tara to read for the month and review so I'm looking forward to reading this one. Again another one highly recommended by my friend Angela over at Literature Science Alliance. So if you haven't picked up on it yet if you're not following Angela's channel you should be. I get so many of my recommendations from her. I'll have her link down below so you can find her. Those are all of the books that I have added to the collection since the last time that I updated you all. I hope you see some of your favorites here that you're excited for me to read. I hope there were a couple here that you're interested to hear more about so stay tuned to the channel for that if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so when I do talk about them you don't miss that video so you can find out if I found you a new read thank y'all so much for watching and being here it truly means a lot have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one